we're live. Look, champagne. We have another wedding in the family. So I have made us a wedding card. So this is, I'll show you what, when it comes in the envelope, it has a belly band with gold embossed stamping. Now there's a lot of little folds in here, so you have to just get that belly band down there. And so this has, congratulations on your wedding day. And this is in the, um, <coughs> well it's not on that one, it's in the new colours, which is, why don't I just go to the horses now, and I can tell you. Here's our colours. Right, you know I didn't like um, the other one. This is... Mm, look at this. It's not pumpkin pie, it's peach pie. I'll just get this cut. Oh, that looks very bright on that one. It's yellow-orange anyway. Let me just get this here. So these are the colours that came in last year. So we're using Lost Lagoon. And the new family of colours is Peach Pie. Now, it looks kind of apricot in this. It is. <coughs> see. It's, uh, maybe if I turn that other light on over there, it might not be so bright. We can't turn that on either. So anyway, it's peach pie. See in the magazine, it shows peach pie there. And there's that Shaw Shamrock from last week that I didn't like. Um, yeah, I know, it's quite bright. So I'm using peach pie and I'm using Lost Lagoon. So, and there's a bit of punching to do. We've got gold embossing. Again, we've got some cutting, so I'll take that off again. And as you might remember, I've used Wild Wheat, which actually comes out and looks gold for my envelope. So I'll just pop that away for now. And let's go. So this is the base if you want to snapshot it. <laughs> my, my writing isn't the best, is it? But it's that. So see here? Now, if you look there, it pops out there. And that's that's only a small thing to write, dear so-and-so, from so-and-so, but, you know, they'll be so impressed with the cards they won't care that you put a little note. And they're all gold embossed as well. <coughs> and that's that. So let's start. That's so cute, isn't it? I'll put it up there in the, in the little band. So that anyone getting that for a wedding card would be excited, wouldn't they? So a little champagne for the wedding. <laughs> We've got another one in January as well, February. So the um, DSP I've used in here, if you can see it there, that is from a new pack that came out just recently called Thoughtful Journey, and it's only six by six. So I've had to use two sheets. These are the two that are left over but I had to use two because on the back it also has that. So that when you fold it over, they still get to see something rather than um, it being nude card. So you see that and then you fold it out and you've got the nice beautiful ones in the front. All right, so, so I've cut them from, lost, from there, from the... Um, Thoughtful Journey 6x6 and then <coughs> I've used the Full of Life which is quite lovely brilliant colours here but I've just used I'll show you from this sheet that I put at the back I've just used there's a sheet that looks like this and it has another couple so I only want that shading of, of the um, peach pie so I've just turned that over but isn't that nice so we can use that another time so I'll just pop that back 
and we'll get started. So we're using the wild wheat and we're going to do gold embossing. All right, get those out of the road. Oh, right down the end. Oh. And there's, um, we've got the tag, the new, this is a new one, the tag. I haven't even written its name on it yet. But obviously it's like the sparkle. So in my kit, I have a more scraps of that. So this is the stamp set. Wishing you um, joy and love and oh, laugh, a lifetime of love and laughter, which is what I put in the middle. And congratulations on your wedding down the front. And these little flowers I've stamped out and embossed, and I did need to cut them out. So we're going to use those soon. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit, get your trimmers out. This is going to take a little bit of working. Might need another drink. I know that, um, <laughs> it's funny, Susan, Susan Cram Stampfield, I like her. She does some nice fun. Her fancy cards are so fancy that you just, it takes so long to do them. Um, but they are nice. But this is not hers. Um, this is just a gate the pop-out gatefold. I've had this for a few years um, that you, that it's been out. You can look up fun folds, gate, got, gate card fold, fun folds. So I've had it a while. So I just love this paper and so I thought I would uh, do it with this. But this is a really a little bit of concentration in your scoring. So first of all, I'm just putting that up there so I can see it is um, I'm going to open my okay so so again it's eight okay eight inches by five and a half so we're going to first of all we're going to score it and move that across can you see it you can see it I'm going to score it at two Make sure you get your brown blade out of the road. <coughs> That's cutting your grey bow. So I'll score that there at two. And I'm at six. There's six. Right there on the smack on the end. Okay. There is going to be another score in the middle, but we're going to wait till we do some cutting. Now you probably can't see those score lines, <coughs> but they're there. So now we're going to turn it vertical, and on my notes, a score line is straight, and a cut line is dot, 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 okay? So from the two to six mark, we're going to score it one and a quarter. So there's one and a quarter there. Now if you have um, this paper trimmer, Right, if you have this, what you can what I've done is put a thin strip because often when we're cutting cards we get left over with a piece of strip. So I've cut that down small and put some um, tear and tape on it and I've glued it to the side. Can you see it there? And now you can see the inches on the side and the ones that it comes up. So makes it much easier so what we're going to do is lift this up for a minute and we're going to take it down hold on we've got to get that back on one and a quarter so this is where you've got to concentrate one and a quarter and we're going to move the blade we ha still have to lift the blade we're going to move to there's a mark in the middle of this here and we're going to move it right down to the two inch mark drop it on the ground okay and now we're going to take that down right to the six inch mark here. So it's basically starting where we have scored actually. So that's that's easy for you to think of between the score lines. So you did just two and down here your six will be on the other one. So you just cut that to there and lift it up. Now you take your card across to four and a quarter. 
and you will be in the six inch mark again see the six down here and that line there is lining up with my score line there and you take that back up to the two right so that's our next two so now we're going to go back remove your blade um, and we're going to go to the four inch mark and we are going to simply score up to the cut line okay and lift it up and go up to the up here one and a quarter yep and you're going to score there all right so now you've got a score here and a score here so we're going to fold that in now I have a funny feeling yes we're going to do another score all right I'm just going to get my we've got our two cuts here and the two and we are going to score inside that's what we're going to do over here so our next score lines are at three and five and that's just in between these score these cuts so at, we're going to start it at three just make sure I'm always double double make sure on that make sure it's all straight up there and we're going to use this one and we're going to score up and back there okay three and again at five and drop it on that line so that's now at four and a quarter and you're going to go up to one and a quarter and back and up all right so now we've got quite a few fold lines I'm just going to take this off for a minute so it wasn't too bad was it <laughs> oh hi Jill how are you gonna make sure my folds are done properly darling you'll have to check on me <laughs> So, now in order to, this one is going in, I'm just going to grab my bone folder, and the other side's coming in, so there's our gatefold, there's our gatefold, now we've got to pop these ones out, so now we have to bring, these are hard ones to do, this one, so bring that out, get that one. Turn to the other side and do the same. And that's that. Now we're going to, while they're done like that, we're going to fold those out to there and now fold those. And that's done. That's your card. All right. Oh, Alexa, be quiet. Alexa wants to talk to me. Alexa, quiet. <laughs> Alexa wants to talk to me so um, oh, um, Jill my one of my kids are getting married so I thought I'd make this wedding card for them all right so we have here the four pieces for in here and I have cut these wider I always do that don't I cut them a little wider just in case so we're going to have to do a little trimming there so four of these are going to go one two three four so just pop that out of the side for a minute and we're just going to quickly bring back the trimmer now I have got it longer because I'm going to cut this off but I'm going to re-glue this because I want that beautiful um, lost lagoon to come back up on it and I've got two of each the same because I did two sheets so those on that side and those on that um, yeah I did them way bigger look at that I'm just gonna make sure that is totally correct I think my purples out my blues out 
should be a bit bigger. No, they should be small. Alright, so everything measured. One. So they should be one and a half. So just get my trimmer back and make them one and a half. Okay. And that one. So one and a half. I hope you're feeling better, Jill. That's a lot off that one. That's one and a half. Goodness gracious, my um maybe the champagne started before me. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Got that all oh, goodness gracious. Now, look, I put little flowers on, but you can't see them properly. <laughs> That's being silly. Okay. Get our glue. Now, as you know, notice here, these are bigger than the, than the actual cards. And that is because I am I'm just going to have a look at that. Two and a half by two and a bit. And this is too big again. I don't know how I do my measuring sometimes. It's in there. Okay. So, if you have a look at that, I've got just over, so I want to take three quarters of an inch off the bottom of them. Yes. But keep it. So three quarters of an inch of those ones. Keep it. And three quarters of an inch off these ones. And keep it. So, why I'm keeping it is, like I said, I'm putting these back on here, the bottom. So, even though you'll see a sl you don't see the rib on it, but I thought it looked nicer. I don't know. I can do them without. I'll show you, and you can t you can tell me, Jill, whether I'm worth doing it like this. <laughs> so, see, even the back's nice, isn't it? And it's going to go in there with the tiniest little bit of. Oh, everyone's coughing in our house. So one. Not too much glue. I've got a, a real busy one today. It likes to go out. Just going to measure. Just have a look at. I'm going to take a. Just going to cut a little slither more off those ones. Where my scissors gone? Oh, I think I had them in my class today. Uh, I'll just grab. Oh, <laughs> running up and back. Oh, I'm going to cut the slightest little bit off there. That's better. Now I'll put those. And that's four of them. Alright. Now, in this card, 
see the bottom of there I added that back I mean that's got a little bit of purple on it there I just got that up the wrong way because I wanted to see I wanted it to match more do you reckon that's nice that cut a slither off that Ooh, my measuring's gone out the window oh that's a nice color on the back too isn't it I just wanted to pick that purple up and you really can't see the join as much and I don't think I don't think anyone that saw the card would worry too much it's not like um, it's a boo-boo and you're fixing it I just want that effect and it just slides in nicely see just makes it gives it a bit more color on the end rather than sinking into the other see how it'll sink in I want it to stand out so that's why I've done that and just making sure, yep. I just love, I love it. <laughs> I'm easily amused, my own cards. Alright, so they are now going to go on the fronts and the backs. So, just down the middle. This is quite, quite easy, this bit. Really, I mean, it's quite a special looking card. And we're going to turn that over. And add the other two. You don't need a hell of a lot of glue with this because the Tombow is so good. Just put your hand down and give it a bit more pressure. I've seen others using um, uh, the not tear and tape, um, the sticky tape in those rolls. But every time I get one, I can't work it. I was just so ridiculous. I'm hopeless with it. I just I put it on, and they just they roll all, these ones here, and they just roll all over the place and break. And I just I don't cope very well with them. So um, I get used. You get used to what you're used to, and so the we got that. We got the belly band. Now here we've got our little pieces. So. This is the front of the card. Alright, so we're going to use this and put four of those on there. So I measured that and I put it onto my thing and it's one. The little ones are one and five eighths. Okay. So one and five eighths is two over a half. So it's the so if I was doing it to here, one and five eighths is two over half half an inch and two over. So that's that one there. So. I'm just going to hold that there for a sec and make sure I've got that correct. That's where it is. There and there. So I'm just going to roll those down because oh, I can't be bothered bringing up my um, my cutting machine or trimmer again and again. And we need four of those. I don't need, I, put, I cut out two strips. No, I think I did put them on the back as well. I glue, glue, glue. I'll have fingers. I should be using my, um, silly, I tell my girls off. They'll come on and tell me off. 
I always tell them off for not using the uh, um, uh, what's it called? My my mat, silicone mat, which has fallen to the floor, and that stop stops you putting getting glue on the back of your card or something by mistake. So I'm just going to turn these all over and give them a little glue in one go. to help that a bit faster and see because it's basically the same color it's just giving it a little bit of shading on it just more bling to the put that down the bottom I like the dark coming up mm -hmm. This is a real full up card, isn't it? We're going to turn it over and do the same. One. Uh, two. And there's another piece here somewhere. I just moved it out of my row. Oh, I know what I did with it. I put it back into the back of here, I think. That's a lighter one. I thought I'd cut two. Oh my goodness, you go crazy doing this. You're always looking for what you started with and you didn't start with. And then you get finished. Oh, look, I found a butterfly that I was looking for last time. <laughs> That is weird, isn't it? Oh. We're just going to use the back of this one. So we need two more. And scissors under here. One. And two. It's probably my chair and turn those all over. And glue them. Be nice to use a square one the other side, I reckon. It's a bit like I've got a giraffe on that one. Alright. Two. A bit lighter those ones, aren't they? I didn't. I don't want to put something fancy up there. I saw I've got gold, and I, I got the gold out and put it next to it, but it was it was too much because when this jumps out, so that's the back, and that's the front. All right. So we have a piece of card to put on the back here to leave a greeting. And that is, I'll measure it from here, get my tape measure, and that, if I'm correct, is not big enough that way. So that is two by three, and I've done that to the limit so it's totally covered. So it's two inches by three. And yes, as I said, it's not a massive um, area to write in, but I, I, I think the value of the card will take away having to do too much. So make sure it's clean on both sides. Uh, which is... That's my back, because that pops up, so that's my back. All right, so I'm going to pop that into the middle, and just leave that for a minute. All right, so you can see it's coming along. Now next, 
we need to have a belly band, which I have a strip, and it will meet. Now I'll show you, see? Push those down, fold it, put your belly band around, and we're going to meet just over the middle. Now it's got a gap, but that's totally okay because this is going to put, hold it together. So we're just going to leave our belly band there, ready, and we're going to do the lagoon, lost lagoon. We need one tab in lost lagoon in this. And what else? We need a piece for the front, which is, I have, didn't I have it on it? Um, I did have it on it, but I can't have the sheets. It's three and a half by three. So I'm hoping it's that piece, there it is. So we want that at three and a half by three. Okay. And we need some of this for scraps to do the flowers. We're going to do some stamping with all this now. And we do need some scrap for the orange to do these two flowers and the three on the front. Okay. So now we're just going to pull out all our other stuff. So we're going to stamp this, this, this. We'll pop that out of the road. The belly band. Oh, I need a drink. Oh, cheers, Jill. <laughs> it's getting there slowly. Okay, and on here we need probably that, but a bit more. I'm just going to cut off this and out and get... So I haven't got too much on the desk for you as I go. All right. These are so pretty. These are so pretty, these stamps. I'm very fussy about what I buy with stamps. I like to get what I like. <laughs> now, while we've got that out, we'll, we'll wild beat the um, thing when we've done that so we get all our stamping. <coughs> Excuse me for a second, having a little cough. Okay, so we need the two little flowers. We need the saying, the big saying for the middle, for there. We need the wedding saying for here. And that's all on that for now. So let's get that all stamped up. So a big block. I'm going to turn it around so I can see it. I'm going to line it up in my grids. If you put it in your grids so you've got it straight. Okay, once it's on a stamp. And then we've got this one. Congratulations, it's your wedding day. And then we've got our two little flowers. And because we're doing them twice, I'm just going to do them here because we've got to cut them out. So... Every, these are all cut out, unfortunately, and I did two in the green as well as in the in the other one. So we've got. Let's get started. We have our kit. Pop those to the side for a second. Ready? My glue out of the road before I stick something. Okay, here's our kit. So we have Versamark which I inked up a little bit more yesterday. Get refills for your Versamark, just like me. Gold embossing. Cleaning. We've got to clean all these. This has got sort of corn flour in it. Well, we all say it's corn flour. Okay, and so that stops it sticking everywhere that you don't want it. And it comes with this brush and a set of tongs. But I also keep a little brush to get into the little bits that don't get caught with that, that powder. So first of all, we'll do the, the saying onto our big piece. Put 
right smack in the middle. Just hold it down, lift it up, and at the same time, I'm going to do the one little flower just to save myself coming back to that. Okay. And we put this over here. Give it a little bling. Now we also need two little flowers. So put that back on. And we're going to the bottom of here and I'll cut that see hey I don't know if you can see it's shiny because the um the that's the versa mark and so all I'm going to do is take that over and put it here the bang if it needs to because it was writing I, I, I kind of like to put it through twice right that looks perfect don't touch it so this one I'm going to do because I want them really gold. Now see how there's a bit of mark there? It's not going to matter on this one. And I'll only get my little brush out because we're cutting these out. But we're not cutting that out, so you have to make sure there's none there. So I'm just going to get my tool, which is stuck in a drawer, and let it warm up for a second. And I'm going to show you. Oh, I've got gold all over my fingernail there. I'll wipe that off before I end up with uh, getting heat on it. Alright. And this is where you can use tongs if you don't want to get your fingers caught. I love it when it does that. It's such a special moment. Alright, so that's those two. Yeah, we'll get this one done. Um, oh, here we are. That's that saying. There's a bit of gold on this one, but that's what weddings are for, isn't it? So nice. I love doing wedding cards. Mind you, I had fun today. We did our class, um, and uh, we did we do four cards, and it was fun too. So we're going to just gently run that through. And I, I like, as I said, do it twice just because it's special. Give it a flick on the back. Um, and give another one there. Now you can see here, there's just a little bit right there. Because this is on the front of the card, um, you're going to see it. Now what I do have to do is get my tongs on this one because <coughs> it's close up. Cooking with gas. Now, while we're at it, we've got to do two yellow ones. We've got to do a big yellow. And we've got to do two smalls. I think that's it, folks. Hold that on. And these two again. I think you'll be invited back to this wedding. Or another wedding <laughs> when they see your cards. Uh. Up and down, up and down. Uh, um, where's my big brush for this one? Well, because they're getting cut out, you're not going to worry about too much unless it's close to where you're working. Ooh, we've got a little bit of an overlap there, but that's not going to matter because we're going to take that little bit off. All right, here we go again. Out for the gun. You know, if you're a um, well, I've got to cut a few of these out now. So, and then the good thing is, you just get your gold embossing, you give your um, tray a tap, and it just goes straight in. I know I see a lot of people with um, 
because I, when I'm bored sometimes or I'm in here ironing, I sit and I watch peop, other people making cards because it's so, it's so much fun. You just get to see what other people do and learn some tricks. Blending, you know, blending with your blenders and all of that's really good to see because oh, I never knew much about that when I first started stamping up because I was using just normal stamping up, stamping stuff. And um, yes, I used gold and all of that, but I hadn't used pens and done a lot of blending. So, if I am correct, I have a cleaner. I'm just going to quickly clean off these so that get that goo off them. And I'll just leave them to the side and take them all away later. I just need to get that glue off. Oh, we have to actually do another stamp with that one as well, anyway, don't we? Remember I said the wilder wheat looks like gold? So on the um, on the back of the envelope, in the front of the envelope, I always like to put bling on it. I think it looks special and I think that um, when people get one of these in the mail, they know who it's from. But then if you all start doing it, they'll all think it's from me and it's you. And how's that? Right, so I know how long will be taken. Oh, normally it, this is a little bit longer because I've got the um, uh, all the gold to do. But apart from that, it's a pretty, pretty good um, card. So we are going to glue the back just to here the. Um, the full one. So I'm just putting that on the inside. I'm happy to just do a thick layer in here because I want it to stay on when it moves. <coughs> so this is the pop out. And so that's just going to go right smack in the middle. And you can push it down like that. Make sure you're right. And then we'll just leave that to sit and set while we get the other things done. And I'm going to have to get my little snips. These are Stamping Ups scissor paper snips. And they're really, really sharp and they're really good. So you've got to be careful. And I have a pair that's got a ribbon on it and that's for glue. Um, or, and I've got, a, you know, like ones for ribbons, ones for glue, um, and ones just for cutting. Because you do tend to get a lot of glue on everything. So I had to go and buy some alcohol remover stuff, not to drink, <laughs> um, so I could, um, it goes on your cutting boards and everything like that, and it's, it is um, a nuisance really, but uh, you've got to keep your tools clean, and uh, especially these scissors, they're quite reasonable actually, um, but they're nice and sharp. And uh, this is what they call fussy cutting. I was hopeless at this when I started. <laughs> I used to um, get things and think, oh my God, I can't even put that on, on my card. So bad, but I think I'm getting better. They don't have dies for this one, but I, I like to get some sets where you don't have dies, even if it's just a little bit of cutting. It doesn't take that long, and you can... Um, you can, you can watch TV, sit there and make cards at home. Um, I like to, you know, like out of my cards I make, I, I, I do card classes online and when I can get a certain amount of people that would like to do some, I'll do them. The only thing is that stamping up, um, you have to own the stamp set. I can't stamp, like I couldn't stamp out these flowers but it, I can I can do die cut things, and so that's that's good. You can do the die cuts, um, as in like these are these are. Uh, that's all it. I have a um, a container where I get. So these are the dies, you know, that you might do, and, and if you have a card that's got that on, you can do that. So if I get four people asking to do that, or how many that want to do it, I'll I'll do a class, and you just go online privately, 
um, in my SNP class and we make a um, only the people that buy the kits so you buy four card kits and I send you all everything to make it except the stamping uh, most of them I just don't do stamping on you can add your own greeting yourself because you all have greetings um, if you buy the stamp set you get the four kits for free so that's pretty cool but again I mean it's because I've only been doing this a wee while um, I put it out there but I don't have a blog so it's only on my site you can see it so here we go two more to cut and we're done and then we're putting the rest together and we've finished this is a long one for me isn't it and we're moving soon so um, I'll probably I'm hoping I can get to a computer and get it get it get a couple of cards got done but if I can't well here's what it is I'll let you know uh, we're not moving far staying in the same area just downsizing our land because we're on a lot of land and going to a smaller house now my husband spends hours after work mowing whippersnipping the boys mow of um, my last two kids are uh, 15 year old twin boys so they mow the lawns and he but he whippersnips and I pretend to weed I'd rather make a card <laughs> that's weeding look at me I'm cutting flowers that's weeding come on give me a break oh. So as I say, the first person that comes on gives me a like, subscribes to my channel. I'll give you this card. And it looks like today, Jill, it's you. That's if you haven't been on before, first with me or got one already. So, okay, now we're up to the last stage of putting things together. All right, so I think... I put this up on dimensionals onto here so it stands out nice so remember if you've got any bit hanging over which you're allowed okay so you can go like that because that's going to go down as long as it's inside the crease so fold your card and make sure it stays in the crease and that's where you can put it okay so there's a, a um, one two three I can do the dimensionals in those spots and they're not going to stop it from moving or show so let's pop those on and they're just going to go that's going to I'm going to just do that around there I'm just going to move that in a little bit to get that thing see so that will pop out and I've done that too low. Okay. I need that there. Alright, so we don't want that to impede our pop out, do we? And it is. Hmm. Excuse me, we're going to take that back off again. And we'll just take those off and put three new ones because. I told you not to do that. I just did it. So there you go. Learn by my mistakes. And you will be fine. And see, so you really have got a few seconds to replace them. So don't push them down until you're really happy with what you're doing. These are all the tricks I learnt later on. Um, now let's make sure we've got this right. Down to the end of the green. It can go over to there because that doesn't matter. Now you'll see it comes out. Why is my fold not? Do I have a bit of glue on there? Oh, don't worry. We have Mr. Glue Boy. That's our fold out. See? So it's not interfering now, is it? Look. 
So, part one done. Okay. Now we're going to fold that down. And we're going to put our belly bar end around. Now I don't worry about it not joining because I don't, I personally don't think that's a big problem because I'm going to join it with this which actually covers the join. Alright? So you need to note again at what stage. So my join is there. I need to get that corner on there to get it halfway. Okay? So I've got to get glue into there. Okay. I'm just going to put that there. That's where I want it. Actually, I'm going to move my belly band over a little bit more to there. No one will see that piece that I already creased because this is going to go on it. So to turn that upside down, put it above your belly band. Right, make sure it's even. Now you know you're going to put glue. Now remember, it's not as big as this belly band. It's only going to be within that circle. We really just take that little second to find out. So on this side, it's going to go in here and in there. Okay? Because that's all I want to there. I don't want there. And on that side, the same. From in there to there. Yeah. What I'm going to do is take that off and I'm going to get my silicone mat and put it up here just to make sure. Now I'm going to put it down and I'm going to pop that right smack on the middle. Okay. See the little two creases there? I'm just going to pop a thing on it for a minute to hold it there. So they've all got to just be up on that orange. So a little bit of glue coming extra, but that's good because the this glue mat will get it and we won't. So I'm just going to leave that for one second. Okay, so on the other side we put two of them there. So I'm going to pop that over. And I'm going to get two of these green ones. And just in the middle. Because that's a nice big one. We don't want to we don't want to impede the line because it won't fold. It'll get it done. And then this one will go up on the top. And I'm just putting it in the middle because I don't want it spreading. Okay? This card. No matter how they look at it, they're going to see this, and it's just beautiful. So these two are going to go on the belly band. Now let's move that out for a sec. Let's lift up the belly band. And we've got a little bit of glue on there. So I'm just going to make sure I get that off with the glue mat. And I have a glue rubber. So I can just give that a little rub. And a little rub on that side too. And we're going to let that dry rather than putting it on straight away. Alright, can you see that? Get that out of the road. The last thing, make sure you've got no glue on your bench. And now with these two, where are we here? We're just going to put one out on the side. And again, just glue in the middle. Pop that down. Just angle that a little bit under there. Okay. And there's no glue showing. Just hold that for a few seconds. <coughs> uh, and this one is going to go up a little higher. And just slide down there a little bit there. So I don't want to put too much on that. Just down on the bottom. Okay. That down a little bit too much. I just want to stick a bit under there. And look at that. We now have a belly band.
So folks, guess what? We are finished. We have our card with our greetings. Isn't it? Well, I hope it's beautiful to you. And it stands up like that. But when you receive it, you pop these down. Gently fold that over. And that. Now with your belly band, because you've got cuts on the back, and you've got your flowers, when you put your belly band on, I'm going to turn that to the front, so you've got to pop that in. Okay. Now, just get your finger and move that down slowly. And once it comes past that mark, you're fine. And that's your, that's your card. And that's your envelope. And I hope you really enjoyed that card I did. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.